Hi, I'm Meg, and this week we finally got the long-awaited Fate update. No way, it's Fate! So in this video, we'll be acquiring each and every unit, including the new secret Gilgamesh, evolving and trying them all out. By the way, I'm trying to become one of the strongest players in anime adventures, so make sure to subscribe so you can tag along in my journey. And the day started at 2 a.m. with the first banner character, Saber. Oh, the first banner, Saber, baby! Wait, th there's two new characters in the first banner, what? Oh, I got the shiny Bumbietta. That's pull for Saber. Oh my god, there's so many Bumbietta. <laughs> can open this up as well. Okay, the cosmetic is pretty sick. Man, they should have a skip button to these summons, man. Oh, Saber! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good. I'm not gonna keep pulling for the side unit, even though it is a new character. She looking good, okay. Light physical, who's the character? Oh, it's the guy from uh, the dungeon anime. Max tier is, I don't know who that is. Kimimaru is the leaderboard. Let's roll a quick adapt to level her up. Reroll animations are different. I like this. They, they made a, a, a nice overhaul. Adapt, cool. I need chalices. Noble portals or, or daily missions. All right, let's start grinding the portals. While finishing up the story, the next banner unit showed up. Archer. Next banner is up. Archer, baby. I am the bone of my sword. Oh, Archer already. Nice. That was quick. That was quick. That was like five multis. Okay. He looks cool. Those stats don't look cool though. Let's roll a mythic trait on Saber real quick so that we can farm the kills on her. And then maybe we'll go for Unique later. Because apparently she's very, very good. Oh, oh, Reaper. Uh, maybe another mythic trait. <laughs> Anything but Reaper, man. <laughs> so last show, I'll, I'll keep it for now. Okay, I didn't record the final story stage because I, I just kind of, I didn't see it was the final one. We're doing infinite on the new stage and this is how you get the portals. So I'm just going to be grinding this. I get as many portals as possible to get that uh, shiny Gilgamesh. This video, maybe not. Now it was time for what, for now, seems to be one of the best units of this update, Lancer, which we'll be talking more about once we showcase him later in this video. Lancer banner here. Lancer is crazy, I, I think. Lancer's shiny is absurd, by the way. So we're surely getting shiny. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was Hawk. <laughs> I thought it was him. <laughs> okay, I think I'm almost down 30k as well. Uh, this is crazy. Server curse? I mean, not gonna know. Yo, oh, okay, I'm leaving your server, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm leaving your server, man. Oh, I finally got Lancer. Oh my god. As soon as I left her server. As soon as I left her server, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna roll a quick unique on him because he's a, he's a four placement, so. Celestial. Ooh, I think it's good for him, right? The grind of this update is the Holy Grail War Portals, which you can get from farming the new infinite stage. What you see on screen right now is pretty much where we'll be spending all our time farming. After grinding for a bit, time to pull on the next banner, which was Midai? Midi? I don't know. New banner new banner there's so many banner characters in this update Medai, apparently very not very good but we're getting all the characters so it doesn't matter if i go under 20k on this banner i'm just gonna stop pulling and wait for the bazooka girl i'm, I'm sure i'm about to hit mythic pity right because there's uh, a <laughs> i forgot mythic in like 12 multis with this Oh, oh, double mythic! And it was Medai, nice. And since it took me so long to pull Medai, it was almost already time for the last banner character, Illy. Oh, look who's in banner, it's Bazaka. Oh, it's finally almost daytime. It's been a few hours already. This might be my unluckiest update so far in terms of pulling the characters. I'm not even looking for like shinies, I just want one and it's taking so much effort. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Now I just need Gilgamesh and I got the full faith team, baby. Let's go. Let me roll an adapter real quick on her. Quick mythic trait. Unique and just 10. Watch. Oh, finally got a mythic trait. Divine. Okay, I'll take it for now. It took me like 200 plus rerolls for one mythic trait. Jeez. Now with all the banner characters in hand, all I needed to do was grind portals until I get the secret golden portal for Gilgamesh. And about 1500 chalices to evolve all units. And while grinding these portals, one of the most anticipated things coming with this update was about to drop. The new tournament reward Caesar, which I was guaranteed a shiny version of. Until 
until this happened. Claim for rewards, claim rewards. Isagi, no, I want my Caesar. Where's my Caesar? Finally, after grinding for a while, I got enough to evolve my first target, which was Saber. Let's check her out. It's finally daytime, and the first thing I'm awakening is Saber. I've been hearing conflicting reports about how good she is, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on the unique for now. I'm gonna wait for some better info about her to come out. But let me let me test her out. Let me see how good she is right now. I forgot to roll her stats before awakening. Oh my god, I I never forget. I I just been grinding so hard. I, I completely forgot. Got her down. She's looking at ten thousand on placement. Okay. Oh, she looks pretty good actually. I like the aura that she got. Of course, not the last word but the actual aura on the sword in her face let's get upgrading so next attack mana flare let's see yep that's the same attack as an evil that's the range mana burst eruption which is again the same as an evil Ooh, that, that one's pretty nice excalibur let's see okay is that like a line aoe huh that animation does not look like it should be this. It should be like a line AoE, and that's the maximum. Okay, 468k, let, let, let's buff her up. They nerfed Griffith, and now it costs like a whole mortgage to get him up. All right, this is her damage. Max boosted Griffith, Orwin, and Oshi as well. 1.5, pretty much. Her, her SPA is very long, though. Her damage is good, so they nerfed Griffith a lot. <laughs> Not only he costs 100,000 now to buff, his damage doesn't stack as much. It used to double, let's say, Erwin's buff. But now, it just adds on the original buff. Math is weird. No one likes math, okay? So, she might have been at like 2 mil before these buff nerfs. But her SPA is very long. And honestly, I'm not a big fan of this. And after checking out Saber, me and the boys went right back into grinding portals until... Go oh, portal. I got a golden portal! Hey! Yo! <laughs> Yo! The portal is uh, all nice and, and shiny and stuff. Let's her 100% worthiness. What's it gonna be? A plus, baby. They didn't even bother changing the names of this, these characters. Is update. That's uh, very strange. Time for my shiny. Not shiny. Nah, not shiny. He looks sick though. This concluded my first day of grinding the update. I left my game farming infinite for more portals for the next day and headed to bed. So uh, see you tomorrow morning. All right, it's the next day. I uh, just woke up. I was farming portals overnight and I got to tier 25 in the battle pass. Let's awaken him, see how he looks like. Bell. Argonaut. That's the cosmetic. You get his armor, but it doesn't look very good because of my character. And you get the, the big knife. It's all right. Nimble tree. All right. All right, let's place him down. I don't have the biggest hopes because it's a battle pass unit. Let's see. I mean, ooh, his aura looks pretty nice. On placement, 8.9. I mean, it's standard. He has Oshi, though. I'm just going to be quickly upgrading him. This is his uh, second attack. Cool. Already maxed out. I mean, that that's that's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. What's the range? Oh, ew. <laughs> Oh, ew, that's the evolved character. Oh my god. 100% boosted by Leafy and Griffith. 491k. Not the best. Um, <laughs> terrible range here. Not the best damage. It's a battle pass unit, so it's not gonna be very good, but like, if you're a very new player, it can help you out. I I'll, I'll put it like that. I just grinded so much, and it's time to awaken all the remaining characters together. First, let's roll their stats. Okay. A pluses, I'll take it. Ooh, nice two A pluses. Only Gilgamesh left. Okay, okay. A. Okay, these stats are pretty good because I'll be honest, I'm not gonna invest on Gilgamesh until I get a shiny. But I wanna get like an okay showcase for him for the video. Start with Illid. Cool. Medai. I don't remember this character to be honest. Okay. Archer. Cool. Man, Archer is one of my favorite characters. I don't think he's that good though. And the boy Gilgamesh. Oh yeah, look at him. Ooh, I can't wait to see his cosmetic once he's tradable. And as I just said, we're going for the shiny. This week or next week, expect the mega grind video. My expectation is to get 20 Gilgamesh portals because I've been farming these overnight. Got like a macro to farm overnight and stuff. Do all the Gilgamesh portals back to back to back and see if I get a shiny. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. All right, let's first take a look at Medai. As you can see, there are five placement. Initial animations are all right. Deployment damage 5.6k is pretty sad oh she's only level 92 i'm not gonna level her up i'll be honest i don't find her to be that good but next like rain of light let's take a look okay that's pretty neat rule breaker oh okay teleports there ends off 126k oh it is a hill unit they usually don't hit as hard five placement i'm just not a big fan that's with with oshi buff as well let's take a look at Pazaka. initial the mission is pretty nice 
Okay, she got the Berserker summon dropping in. Nine lives. Oh, that becomes way better. Look at that. Yeah, and the animation is pretty crazy. 9.1 SPA is kind of slow. I think that's the last attack. 563. She's a three placement, by the way. I mean, she is considerably better. The problem I have, she doesn't hit flying. Uh, her competition is like Ainz, but obviously if you don't have unique Ainz, she might end up being better. Hits good damage, it's just these characters are pretty boring. They just do damage, and most of them aren't even hybrid. Now we got all the buffs going on now, they're fully boosted. And that is at 345k, fully boosted with Griffith and Leafy. Hey, it's alright. Ely is looking much better. 1.5, okay SPA. Her range is pretty bad, very bad. 32.1, the circle AoE she's got is pretty good but her actual range is pretty bad let's hope the other characters are better moving to the physical boys we got lancer which is the character i have the most hopes for other than gilgamesh i'm saving him for last because he's insanely cheap second attack hammering assault okay he just drops in fate piercer oh that's pretty cool i'm not gonna try Ooh, yeah, that's a pretty cool one. This is one people thought was gonna be full AoE, but he actually throws it. Boom. Range is not the best, right? But he's already maxed, and he's insanely cheap. 50% crit chance, you can place four. I think for a storm physical, he's pretty good. I wish he was hybrid, but it is what it is. That 50% crit chance, I think, carries him quite a bit true. Because his damage is not the best, but he can crit. Now, Archer. Oh, he's sick. Pretty basic versus attack, of course. Arrowblade World. Ooh, that's pretty neat. Trans Onslaught. Ooh. Yeah, I, did, I knew they were gonna do him pretty good because he has so many cool attacks from the anime. Catalog. Cat I'm not gonna try. Oh, I am the bone of my sword! <laughs> <laughs> I wish the voice line would play every time he does it. <laughs> that should be max upgrade. 191k. But, at the very least, is hybrid, baby. Look at that flying. You take, you know, you take the good of the bad. Damage not the best, but he is hybrid. I compare, like, he does... Oh, wait, he's level 88. Okay, he should be, like, a, a, quite a bit higher. I think these two guys... I don't know. I'm gonna have to wait and see what other people make do with them. I like that he's physical and fire, because Guts is already physical and fire. Now, with all the buffs... Let's see how they're looking like. 8.30, 90k from our boy. And 5.24. Again, his number could be a bit higher if I max leveled him. It's just with all these characters leveling up, it's just tough. Maybe I'll revisit Archer one day. He just, eh, looks a little match to me. Yoga Mash is the one I really, really was hoping is good. So let's see. 9.9k on placement. Max attack is Collapse. Okay, that's pretty cool. Gates of Babylon. Ooh, yep, yep. He throws in the, the weapons. Okay. What's his final attack looking like? Enuma Ellis. 12.8 SPA, but okay, yeah. That is a huge explosion. <laughs> What's the attack looking like? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good range. And he is, in fact, hybrid. Ooh, okay, okay. That is max 694k. I mean, that's pretty good. Fully boosted, Gilgamesh is looking at 1.9. Actually, very good damage for a non-unique character. The biggest issue I see is how long he takes to attack. 10.9 SPA is pretty crazy. But hey, the damage might make up for it. Once I'm done grinding the shiny Gilgamesh, uh, <laughs> I'll let you know. And we're gonna be looking at that unique Gil once that happens. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and liking the video for more. All in all, I got mixed feelings on this new update. I do really like how strong Gilgamesh is, but I'll wait and see more about the remaining units before I judge them too harshly. Well, that's it then. Good luck.